it can cause some drama in your life that you're not ready for. You know, what if it goes back to your husband that you're trashing him and you're trashing your co-wife and she didn't do much to you except for exist for the fact of her marrying someone you were already married to. Assalamu alaikum, peace. It's Coach Nilo, one of the co-founders of Outstanding Personal Relationships, as well as co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. And I want you guys to come and chat with me. Well, we're going to chat a little bit today about polygyny and how running our mouths too much can actually destroy our marriages, pretty much loose lips, sinking ships in polygyny. But first, I got to water my babies because I ain't do that yet. So you can come along with me for a second while we talk about that. This one needs a water. I watered the other one. Oopsies. <laughs> so, yeah. Alrighty. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to talk about other plants because we don't want them to be all dry. Alright. I'm going to put this down here. And just come have a seat with me. Alrighty. <laughs> so here's the deal. Loose lips, sinking ships, and polygyny. Or just running our mouths a little too much <laughs> when it comes to uh, what we have going on, whether it's some issues that we may have, um, some challenges, or just pretty much talking to the wrong people or giving too much information to people that we love. Just things like that. It can be detrimental to your marriage and then later on I'm going to tell you how to be able to spot when you're doing that because I'm not going to say that we are you know perfect <laughs> I'm not going to say that I have never done it um, because we all can have that happen to us some point in time in our lives where we found out that you know what I shouldn't have told that person this information or this was the wrong person to talk to about that or I was just mad and I kind of just you know, had logaria or, you know, what they say, diarrhea of the mouth. Excuse me. Or I had logaria or what they call diarrhea of the mouth. I just talked a little too much to, about something that I just should have shut my mouth about. And I've noticed how dramatic and how traumatic that can be in marriages, um, in relationships. And let me give you a few examples. One is when you are talking to um, your friends about how upset you are with your husband, how upset you are about um, him marrying again, or you're thinking that it's funny to talk about your co-wife and crack jokes about her, or um, just cause a lot of these issues because you have a friend, you have somebody that can, that you can chat with, that you feel that you can confide in and things like that. But you have to realize that when you are constantly spewing negativity, you know, regardless of if it, you think it's going to make you feel better, when you're constantly putting out negativity, negativity is going to come back to you. Um, you can have that person who you think you can confide in, go running off at the mouth, and telling people what you told them, even if they were enjoying the conversation with you and cat cat hee hee ha ha right along with you, talking about your co-wife as well, but all in all, you're making your family look bad because you're part of that family. You're not making your co-wife look bad. You're making yourself look bad because you're talking about somebody who supposed to be a sister to you whether they're part of your family but not even just that but if you're muslim that's your sister in islam that's your sister in the deen if you're not muslim and you're talking about somebody that just looks like it can look like jealousy or envy it can look like you're insecure 
It can look like that you can't be trusted because one minute you may be talking to this person, they may see you talking to this person and being kind with this person, and then next minute you're talking about them and disrespecting them, and then it starts to have people wonder, can you be trusted? <laughs> Are you a good person to be around? So that's what I mean by the negativity will come right back to you. So we have to be really careful about letting our mouths cash a check that our butts or anything else can't cash. And usually people use that saying, and they use that saying because they're like, oh, somebody want to fight them or something. No, I'm not talking about that. Saying that it can cause some drama in your life that you're not ready for. You know, what if? It goes back to your husband that you're trashing him and you're trashing your co-wife. And she didn't do much to you except for exist for the fact of her marrying someone you were already married to. That looks like you're destroying something from the inside. That looks like you're not down with the team. And I'm saying that you got to be all gung-ho for their marriage or anything like that. The thing is, we talk about minding our own marriages and one marriage is that marriage and the other one is the other. But if you are disrespecting a person or degrading them and just talking bad and negatively about them, in addition to your husband, someone that you actually are married to, then in that, excuse me, that in itself can look bad. You think that's something that he's going to like? A lot of women who do that, I'm not saying a lot of women do that, a lot of women who do that, find it really hard to believe that that was the reason why their husband stopped communicating with them or stopped doing nice things for them, even though they want to and try to because they want to kind of be balanced and they want to, um, and I'm talking about men. We're talking about men who want to be better. Every time it seems like I have to give a disclaimer in the videos that we're not talking about people who are uncaring or who are tyrants or anything like that. We're talking about men who are trying to expand their family, men who are leaders, men who are kings, men who are responsible and mature. He's my husband. He's my husband. He was my husband first. Well, he's mine now. He's both our husband. He is, you're right. <sighs> okay, so I know you guys think that this is what polygyny is supposed to look like between co-wives. And we're here to let you know that that's not what it is. What it is. And that's not how it works. We're going to go and talk to these women about what it's really supposed to be. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm Coach Nyla. And I'm Coach Fatima. And we are co-wives and we're married to that man, Coach <laughs> Nadir, that just left out of here. Yes. So, yes. And the way you've seen it, usually that's what people think polygyny is and right. how co-wives should behave and react when they're married to the same man. But is that the best way? Is that the most effective way? No, not if you want long-term success in polygyny. And we created a wonderful roadmap to help you through polygamy with different requisites as well as vulnerability, value, we discuss value, placing value on your marriage, how to be vulnerable within your marriage, because it's actually a superpower. We speak about that in our polygamy roadmap. We also discuss vision. What is your long-term vision, again, for success in polygamy? And ultimately, victory. Victory, how to win as a family, yes. how to win with your co-wife, yes. how to win overall <laughs> in your marriage in polygamy. So yes, make sure you get the Polygamy Roadmap today yes. at polygamyroadmap.com because you don't want your relationship, your marriage, your family to look like the beginning of this video. <laughs> right, because that's not the best practices for best results, guys. So make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Click the link, get the roadmap. We'll see you then. Asalaamu Alaikum. Peace. Peace. They want what's best for their families and their understanding that they can expand their family by marrying again. So they're married to a person, a person who they respect, who they love, who they, you know, cause people don't want to see that. They think any other extra, um, any other marriage other than the first can't have any love there. It has to be for sexual reasons or something on the lines of that, no connections or anything. 
But if you are marrying someone, you do marry someone that you either are connected with or you're trying to connect with. You're trying to grow with and build with. That's usually the case. And that goes for first, second, third, fourth, especially in polygyny because we go up to four. <laughs> but, you know, others, they don't have a limit, so it could be more than that for, for um, other religions. However, if he starts to see that you are being devious, that would be a thing that say, you know what, well, why do, it, 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 it hurts the relationship. It hurts your relationship. So it's not about that marriage, that other marriage, that caused the drama in your life. It could be your mouth causing drama in your life. And that goes for incoming wives too. You're talking negative about your, your, the, your co-wife, who's the first wife, even if she's done something wrong, and that goes both sides, even if your, your co-wife on the other end done something wrong to you, that's none of other people's business. It's really not. If they can't help the situation, and all they're going to do is keep rolling on the negative energy, it's going to make it bad and detrimental for those involved, and you included. So we don't want to sink our ship and our marriage by running our mouths by going and confiding in people or, you know, having a laugh fest and a bash fest with some friends of ours that we think have our back. Because if they really have your back, they'll say, you know what, sis, let's not do this negativity. Let's talk about some good stuff. Let's go do something fun. You know, or they'll say, you know what, sis, you much better than that. You great, you're amazing. Let's not, you know, look ugly. <laughs> they be like, oh, insecurity is showing, and it's not a good look on you. Those are friends, not the ones that say, girl, you know what? She did look fat. You know what, girl? Look at the, <laughs> what type of kimar she got on her head? What type of scarf she got on her head? Oh, my gosh, it looked dusty. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. That's not a friend. A friend is a person that's going to tell you about yourself, it's going to help you see the good in you, and it's going to help you bring out the good in you. And then another thing about loose lip sinking ship is when you talk negatively to your children about polygyny. Whether it's about your husband, whether it's about your co-wife, and I said it doesn't matter if you're first wife or second wife, it doesn't, or third wife or fourth, it doesn't matter. If you're talking negatively, to the kids or around the kids, that is detrimental because then the kids are going to see that. The kids are going to start acting a certain way or believing a certain thing based on your experiences, based on what you put out there, not their own. Based on what you want to put out there and feed to them. And if it's negative, then you're constantly spewing that negativity. And then they start to become negative. And then later on, they may find out they, they were only negative because you were. Because they only followed your lead. Then they follow your lead. And then they say, you know what, this isn't right. Then they start looking at you as the bad guy. Once again, there's no winning in that. You lose. Your ship is sunk. And then you have to find some way to rebuild and dig out of that mess that you created. We are adults here. Being grown is a responsibility. <laughs> and you, us, all of us who say, I'm grown, I'm an adult, I'm this, I'm that, we have to sit here and say, you know what? Are we acting grown? Are we becoming grown? Are we exuding our grownness? Meaning, are we exuding our maturity? Are we being mature? Are we working on our maturity? Or are we still acting like we're in grade school? Or are we still acting like that we're kinda in high school where we're with the mean girls click? Or we want to be in the popular club so we're so popular that we can disregard and dismiss those little peons underneath us. That's not being responsible, that's not being intelligent, that's not being mature. And we know that, we know that. So being able to recognize when you're slipping up and as the tongue starts wagging, 
and talking a little too much and is negative, know that that's from shaitan, the devil, Satan, whatever you want to call it. And say, whoa, let me not destroy my marriage because that's what, that's what he want anyway. He want to destroy my relationships, whether it's with my husband, whether it's with my children, whether it's with my friends, whether it's with my sister in Islam, if you Muslim, or whether it's with my co-wife. And I need to step back. If I'm feeling insecure, because we have to ask ourselves, why am I running off at the mouth of something negative? Am I insecure? Am I jealous? And if I am jealous, why am I jealous? Let me find some good things about me that I can be proud of instead of trying to destroy someone else's home, someone else's, um, let me stop tearing down somebody else's bridge to make mine look amazing. Let me just continue to build on mine so mine can be amazing. We all can just have amazing bridges together. And yes, that's Coach Nyla saying that there's a solution for it. I'm a solution. I focus on the solutions, not the problems. I know that the challenges are there. So I acknowledge them, but I'm not going to focus on them. And that's what I know that you're capable of doing too. Focusing on the solution, not the problem. Focus on the solution, not the challenge. The challenge to build you up, not tear you down, and you shouldn't also use it to tear others down. Okay? Thanks for sitting down and chatting with me <laughs> and watering my plants with me and all that other good stuff. Hope you guys got some good information from this chat. And um, until next time, make sure you are growing intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. You want more information and how to just dig deep into your personal development and have fulfilled uh, a fulfilled marriage, whether you're in monogamy or polygyny, check us out, outstandingpersonalrelationships.com, and also look at our polygyny masterclass or polygamy masterclass. The links are in the description. And until next time, make sure you share this video because sharing is caring. And I'll see you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.